Morning ladies and gents, hope everybody's okay. Um, just come on very quickly, I've zoomed the camera right out so you can see me now. Because <laughs> um, when I was showing these boxes, the little tiny cheap boxes, you couldn't see what I was doing. And all it is, is four of the labels punched out. You stick the bottom of them together at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. You curve them up and just tie a ribbon through them. And it's as easy as that. And they fit a Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> so there you go. Just a little tiny gift box. So Anyway, we're going to do another card today. So the card you're going to need... Is going to start off at four and a quarter by eleven, so four and a quarter down by eleven across. Okay, um, you're going to score at. No, I'll do the cotton first because it'll make it easier for you to understand. Bring your card in one inch from the end and one inch from the side okay so we're at one inch there and you're going to cut it to six and a half inches and then you're going to flip it over come in an inch from the end and an inch from the side so we're at one inch and you cut it up to six and a half inches. Okay. And then you're going to score it at one inch top and one inch bottom. Then you're going to go to the two inch and score it at two inches on the top, two inches on the bottom. Then you're going to go to five and a half inches on your scoreboard and you're going to score just the centre piece just that piece at five and a half okay can you see that so you're just going to score that centre piece at five and a half and then you're going to score at let me all have got my notes here six and a half <laughs> Okay, so I'll go through that again. You're going to score one inch top and bottom, two inch top and bottom. You're going to score a five and a half inches, just the middle piece, and then a six and a half. And by the time you've done all that, you're going to mount and fold that one, and then you'll get your valley filled, okay? Then the top one, you're going to fold it in half and you're going to fold that one up. So you should end up with something that looks like that. And the side profile, it looks like that. Okay. I hope you're following with me <laughs> so far. So then for your panels. My mouth's gone all dry. Um. We know these sides are one inch, okay? So you're going to bring them into three quarters of an inch with your... Um, hang on. <laughs> Got a load of bits and pieces. Okay, you're going to bring them in three quarters of an inch for your bottom layer. That's the wrong one. Okay. And then you're going to bring them in half an inch for your DSP. They're for your side panels. Okay. So you always bring your, your layers down a quarter of an inch. And then the bottom one. Um, yeah. So we know this is an inch. So you bring it down to three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then half an inch. 
okay and then we know this panel because we cut our card widthways at four and a half inches Mouth all dry and we know this inch and this inch so that leaves two and a half inches okay so all you do is cut your white card to two and a half inches and then your DSP goes to two and a quarter inches okay and that's all your layers okay so I'm just gonna stick these all together now hopefully not make a mess of anything because you know me and sticky stuff we just don't get on <laughs> at all okay so I want this in the middle there and I'm going to stick it on while I've done it and I have to admit this does behave itself <laughs> and it's good for my hands <laughs> so I'm just going to lay that on okay you can take more time over yours anyway because I rushed for the video because I don't like doing really long videos um, what was I going to say to you? I hope you're all enjoying the new catalogue. I am going to do an unboxing of my second order tomorrow. Um, and I hope you've seen the videos of the planner, Stampin' Up's planner. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And myself and my upline have decided we're going to do I think it'll be fortnightly each you know alternately fortnightly um, we're going to do a, like a plan with me series um, I've, I'm already a planner addict. <laughs> I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, and I love decorating mine before I write in them. And I have four happy planners. <laughs> um, for different things. I have one for me stamping up business and my YouTube. I have one that I use as a journal. Um, one that I use for the grandkids it's like their grannies or nanas as I like it but they call them grannies over here <laughs> um, just a, a, a journal on my life sort of thing so that when I'm no longer around They'll still know who I am and what I was. So, and the other one is just one that I like to decorate and mess about in. <laughs> um, I hope I'm, you're seeing all this. I hope I've not boobed again. Okay, so we're on to our centre panel now. And I've used the, um, is it Delightful Daisy or Daisy Delight DSP? Because I absolutely love it. I've also used the punch, the matching punch that goes with it.
I was fuming yesterday. I got rushed to the hospital. I have a DV, deep vein thrombosis in my leg. Um, so I got rushed to the hospital. And <laughs> they put me they put me on warfarin injections and I've got to go back on Friday. And um all I was interested in. <laughs> injections don't in bother me because I do them anyway for my diabetes, but all I was worried about is can I fly? <laughs> That's all I kept asking the doctors and nurses, will I still be able to fly? <laughs> And um, because at the end of the month we're all meeting up um, for a team event and I couldn't go to the last one so I was praying and he said my doctor said oh he said um, you should be all right he said it's only a short flight so I was fully relieved <laughs> Now, these flowers I'm, I've done, right, I've used our label punch to punch out my sentiment and that just says happy birthday to you, okay, and I've done that in Wisteria Wonder and these, what I'm going to turn into butterflies because we no longer have our butterfly punch, punches. So I used the flourished thinlets, which are these, and I used no, that's not. I used that one. Okay, it's supposed to be a flower, but I've used it as a butterfly because I didn't want the big butterflies because. The only butterflies we have now is the big ones in the thinlets um, and I didn't want to use the big ones so that's what I ended up using and all I done was distress them with a bit of the Tranquil Tide ink yeah so there's my daisy punch I punched my daisy out and for the sentiment I used what was it label me pretty which comes in a bundle with the label punch and you can save 10% um, and I just used this one there okay I think it's lovely it's all flowery and very feminine <laughs> um, and that's what I've used so where's my pop dots so I'm just going to put two on the this just to give it a little lift see where it made me mistake on stamping so I turned it over <laughs> I'm gonna stick that oh come on give it a little waggle Put some shape into it okay and I'm just gonna stick that on there if you're sending it in the post you'll probably want to send it flat it's entirely up to you what you do where's me um what will I use what will I use I'll use me dinky glue I was going to use some baker's twine, but I've got none near me, so. I'll use me. I'm going to put a butterfly up there. And. I'm going to put one down there I 
company is. Let me go back to live. Because I'm going to stick that on there. And where's my glittery dots gone? Mind you, I won't use them because they're on back order at the minute. <laughs> Everyone must have went mad and bought them. Um, so we'll give our butterfly some little gems down the centre. So we know it's a butterfly. See, that's what I wanted the baker's trying so that I could put some uh, antennae on. <laughs> okay, and we'll do the same to the other one. It's supposed to stick to my finger. So I hope you can see all that, what I've just been doing there. And I'm going to use my enamel dots because it's not fair using something that you can't get hold of. So I'm going to use me. Let me see. I could use them and... one of our pencils. This is Delightful Dijon. And all I'm going to do is in the centre. So I'm going to do it really yellow. And then that hasn't even stuck properly. Got one of me. Got one of your water pens. Let me see. I'll use a blender pen. And all I'm going to do is smudge that out. Just pick up from the middle and just smudge it out. Because I didn't want to colour, I didn't want to use the stamp to be honest with you. Um, I just wanted a light dusting of colour, if you know what I mean. <laughs> must remember to put that back out of the light and I'll use a couple of these ones And there we go ladies, that's our card finished. So the upright profile would look like that. Okay, your side profile should look like that. <laughs> and that's the front. So I hope you give that a go. I'll just show you it again, side on. Hope you give that a go and let me see what you can come up with. But I think that's lovely. Okay, so take care and I shall speak to you all soon. Um, and bye for now. Bye.